We've got loads of food on this flight, so you can eat as much or as little as you want. If you want to do a challenge, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> <Yes>. Right. <laughs> This is base camp for the next few weeks. It's also baking hot here. And I'm wearing this, like I'm going to Sean the Sheep's funeral or something. Let's check in and let the chaos commence. It took me absolutely ages to figure out the, the boot button is not there. It's kind of like hidden in the, uh, the brake light. Spared no expense with this suitcase. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of these unpatched. We shall eat on the morrow. Right now, sleep. All right, day one in Atlanta. In case you didn't recognize the skyline. A lot of people found it funny that I, I rented a really small car on the Florida trip. I got a slightly bigger one this time. All right, so then we're going to a place called the Nook. Or the Nook? Probably the Nook, as in nook and cranny. And this was on that show, Man V Food. I'll prove that I'm one macho, macho man. This challenge is gonna be no small potato. <laughs> Terrible puns. I like this guy. Anyway, who's gonna? All right, this is what we're doing, the macho tocho challenge which was featured on Man V Food. He's, uh, he's actually not on here, despite uh, the fact that he did fail. We've got some Tocho champs up top. Only three of them though. That's concerning. Wow, that is that's pretty big. Here you go, sir. You're macho, nacho, tacho. Thank you very much. So you get 45 minutes to eat it and you cannot get up. You can't get during, it during the process. No jiggling around, and if you finish in 45 minutes, what do you get? When you win, you get a t-shirt and you get a picture with your name on it on our Hall of Fame. Cool, awesome, right? Do you think, looking at me right now, do you think I can do this? I think you could. Yeah? Yeah. See, man, I like that, you seem positive. Three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, and greetings from Atlanta, Georgia which is the location I will be traversing with both foot and mouth over the next few weeks. Not foot and mouth like the, uh, the disease <laughs> I'll be exploring and eating, you know, the usual stuff. And uh, today I'm at a place called The Nook, which is somewhere in Atlanta. I, I don't know where. <laughs> and I'm taking on the Macho Tocho Challenge, which is just a big pile of stuff, pretty much. This is delicious. I'm not gonna rush this, this is amazing. Yeah, this thing was unreal. I don't really know how you would describe what kind of dish this is, but suffice to say, it tasted pretty incredible. Thank you. Incredible service too, look at that. That guy had a beard though. I think he knows the struggle, which is why he brought the additional napkins. <laughs> Each segment is um, is topped with something different. Like that was pulled pork. For some reason, there's pasta in there too, but the majority of it is uh, tater tots or miniature hash browns, as we would call them. Yeah, we'll get into the toppings in just a second. I couldn't really explain what was on there in detail while eating, anyway, because they insisted on playing a relentless barrage of pop music. Uh, so yeah, I don't really talk much in this video, which I'm sure will come as a relief to some of you. I'm about halfway, I think. I also realised that the phrase "relentless barrage of pop music" probably makes me sound about 57 years old. <laughs> I'm not quite that old, but uh, yeah, anyway, when I say half, halfway through, uh, I don't mean halfway through the time limit, I mean the food. You actually get a very generous 45 minutes to finish this. Oh, it feels like it's never ended. <sighs> yeah, I think that's because the, uh, the grease and or the sodium are, are starting to hit now. I left the sour cream kind of on purpose because I knew this would get tougher the longer it went, so the sour cream will help with that. Yeah, that sour cream was just what the doctor ordered. If doctors prescribed high-fat dairy products. I could highly recommend this one. It's yummy. Yeah, I mean, it, it still tasted good, even after 10 minutes. I think because of the variety of constituent ingredients, of which there were, of course, a great many. 
I need a fizzy drink. I need a fizzy drink. The flavor is killing me now. That was quite the U-turn. Tasted good three minutes ago. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can riff a list of the ingredients here. So it's five pounds of tots covered with queso sauce or just, you know, cheese sauce to regular common English folk. Uh, what else? Pulled pork, chicken, blue cheese, bacon, mac and cheese, bean chili, uh, some kind of bean chili, barbecue sauce, jalapenos, and uh, sour cream, of course. But yeah, I mentioned that already. I think they sprinkle some cheese on top too, as if that wasn't an enough. <sighs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Now, your backup when you're here. Oh, thank you. You're the best. You got me a backup coat too. Look at that backup beverage. He was—he's a good dude to have in your corner. Thank God for that. Yeah, perfect choice too because trivia incoming. Coca-Cola HQ is just down the street. I see you. I see you. <laughs> how long have I been? How, how long He's do I have? Twenty-five minutes left. Oh, thank God. Getting rough now. You know, I, I think it was the fact that they were playing that really depressing song by by Adele too that, that affected my mojo. It's really not. It's not good eating music. <laughs> At the risk of offending Adele fans, I mean no disrespect. My mum actually loves Adele, so if you watch your mum, don't get mad. Anyway, I think you, you really just have to appreciate the engineering behind this food challenge because it looks very achievable on the surface, but it's like six pounds, maybe a shade over, and it's it's predominantly rich, greasy starch that really stuffs you up. So it's, it's really not as easy as it looks on the surface. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but uh, if you do finish this inside 45 minutes, of course, you get the meal free, you get spot on the wall of fame, and not one, but two winners t-shirts which I thought was uh, pretty cool, and some weird little foam drink holder. I actually saw, uh, I don't know how many people have done this, I get the feeling it's more than the three people on the Wall of Fame, but I saw Randy Randy Santel try this, and the, his video had me rolling. I think it takes him like about 40 minutes, which is no surprise because, as I mentioned, it is far tougher than it actually looks. But at the end of his video, he kind of looks off to the side to his cameraman with a bit of a grimace on his face. And he says, I, you know, I'm just pretending it's hard for the sake of the video. <laughs> With a bit of a wry smile on his face, which I liked. I, I, I like that line. I might have to steal it. It's a good one. And uh, yeah, I, this is the first, I don't know how many episodes are going to be in this series, but um, the first one in, in a series like this is always the, the hardest for me, I think, because usually I've dieted for like a week coming into it. So I'm, I hate using the word diet, but you know, I haven't really eaten much before I get here. So I'm pretty much a husk by the time I'm eating, but uh, we got it done. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. That's got to be close enough, right? Right? You finished with 19 minutes left. Oh. Congratulations, how do you feel? I feel good. There was like a lot of salt in that. Oh my, that was some salty sh Oh, I get two. You get two. That's pretty cool. A long sleeve. You don't often get those. I know, right? It's good. I like it. Our official Nook shirt. I just thank you for not eating all the food. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't greedy at all. <laughs>